guys doing today? Oh, I know you're tired. How you doing today? My name is Cass Jackson. I am a United States Navy veteran of 20 years of naval service. I was discharged from the Navy honorably on 31 August 2016. And on 1 September, I launched a, a 3,000 mile journey from Washington State to Washington, D.C. I came all the way over here to talk to the Commander in Chief. I want to talk to the President about the Fatherhood Initiative. I want to talk to him about how he challenged me as a father to step up to the plate. So here we are, Mr. Obama. Me and my fellow brothers and sisters are stepping up to the plate, sir. But you guys keep moving the plate further away from us. You're incentivizing the state courts to take our children with federal funding through Title 4D of the Social Security Act. You want to take me as a parent and reduce me down to a visitor to my children so that you can send money via the Social Security Act through Title 4D to the states so that those morons can balance their already imbalanced budgets. States are profiting off the destruction of our families. I am in the Navy. Well, I'm sorry, I was in the Navy. But that oath that I took, I swore to support and defend the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Well, Mr. Obama, sir, I want you to know that your court systems are filled with domestic terrorists. Mr. Obama, sir, I know you have some beautiful children, but you would not be the father that you are if you didn't have the time that you have with those children. What kind of a father would you be if you only got four days out of the month? Let me tell you what type of father you would be, Mr. Obama. You would be a Disneyland dad. You would spend your 20% of the year trying to make memories with your children because you don't get to read bedtime stories. You don't get to help them with their math homework. You don't get to pick them up when your kids are down. You don't get to teach them your morals and your values and your principles. We're being denied the very right that God gave us, not the government. It is not yours to give, nor was it yours to take. We want one thing, and that's freedom. That is freedom, my fellow Americans. Men and women, my brothers and sisters, died serving this country. I sacrificed for 20 years for freedom, nothing else. For freedom, the basic God-given principle that you can pursue liberty and happiness unimpeded by the states and unimpeded by the federal government. Make no, make no mistake, this is not a protest. I'm not out here protesting. I'm out here demanding that our God-given rights are protected and that you restore the judicial system to one that the people can trust. We're gonna get a little chant going. I'm gonna go with we want and you're gonna scream freedom at the top of your damn lungs. We want freedom! We want freedom! A simple 
freedom of speech uh, element. Nothing more, nothing less. And he said he was gonna, he had to protect my children from me for holding a sign that said, I just want to be a dad. For holding a sign that said, I just want to be a father. He stripped me of my constitutional rights with no due process. No, um, no right to an attorney, no right to a trial by jury. Evidence was ignored, just like it's been done for all of you, so that the states can profit. You tell me why, you tell me why, who holds them accountable? Nobody. Nobody. We Nobody. do. Now we do. That's right.